okay guys uh, this uh, short video tutorial is going to be the uh, de demonstration about the chromosomal disorders and different chromosomal symptoms majorly we'll be talking about the different syndromes that are related to chromosome now actually chromosome human chromosome is consisting of 22 pairs of autosome and one pair of sex chromosome now what is going to be any kind of wrong effect to those chromosomes can give rise to different disorders and uh, syndromes so let's begin so first is the Turner syndrome. There are many more types of syndrome, but I listed some important ones that are required academically. Turner syndrome is a syndrome where the number 23 uh, chromosome, which is the X, X or XY, which is the sex chromosome actually, is getting problem. Actually, uh, this this is uh, the problem is related to girls. It is found to be or happen to be girl, but one X is deleted. As a result of that, what we call it, we call it a monosomy because it, we are having only one X chromosome instead of two. That's why mono means one. So monosomy, which is a result of non-disjunction during the segregation of the sister chromatids uh, in, during the meiosis, right? Now this occurs in one in five thousand births actually, and it is forty-five chromosome and only X chromosome which is getting deleted. It is they are having the individuals with this syndrome having only forty-five number of chromosome. Actually, it is ninety-six to ninety-eight percent. Uh, survival rate is very less. So you can see ninety-eight six to ninety-eight percent do not survive to birth and whoever is survived in one in five thousand births are having very difficulty of no menstruation, no breast development, narrow hips, broad shoulder and necks. Now the question is that we know that even if uh, we, are, we are talking about the X chromosomes inside our body, we know that we are having two X chromosomes and why one X chromosome is not required, it is just inactivated as a process called uh, X inactivation or or, or dosage compensation. We don't require both the X genes because they are containing exactly the same number of genes. But actually, if, if we are not having the X chromosome during the segregation, if we are not having two X chromosomes because that is required in many aspects inside of human body. So in that case, we have problems like this. Because in human body, in one cell we have the expression of one type of X, in other cell slightly different expression. But that thing won't be occurred due to this problem or due to this Turner syndrome. Second one is the cry to chat syndrome. This is a condition where we've seen that the number five chromosome, it is uh, the syndrome of autosome. So number fifth chromosome is having a slight deletion of the lower arm. So due to this slight deletion of the lower arm, what it does actually, it produces a moon-shaped face. It causes heart diseases from the very small age, mental retardation, and also man-formed larynx. And the normal lifespan expectancy is normal, but it's having a mental retardation and all those problems. Now actually it happens in 1 in 2 lakh 16,000 births, and they are also having 46 number of chromosomes, but the number 5th chromosome is having a deletion in the, uh, in the lower arm. And usually, uh, due to this kind of chromosome, this this uh, this individual is having very high pitched noise when they cry. So that's why their their crying is sound like cat crying. That's why it's called cry to chat. That means uh, the crying of cat uh, syndrome. Burkitt's lymphoma. Now this is a condition again you can see the translocation. This is due to any kind of a chromosomal abnormality that is called a chromosomal translocation. Now, you can see here actually uh, the translocation occurs of the MYC gene, MYC gene on the chromosome number 8. Usually it is found to be present in chromosome 14. Now it is getting transferred from chromosome number 8 as you can see. Translocation means in involvement of two different chromosomes that is chromosome number 8 and chromosome number 14. And you can see in the chromosome number 14, right next to Ig, IgH, uh, this meek or C-meek portion of the chromosome from chromosome 8 just getting translocated. Due to this translocation, and also the lower part of the chromosome number 14 is getting translocated to chromosome number 8. Now, due to this swapping of the chromosomes, it, what it causes actually, this meek genes which controls the cell growth and division, the functionality of meek genes getting lost. As a result of that, the non-function of MIG gene leads to the cancer of lymph nodes. As you can see here is a very very dangerous and painful picture of this child is having a very much a gangrene in this lymph node which is caused a cancer of the lymph node and the life expectancy is very very less in all these cases guys. Now Down syndrome, in the Down syndrome actually occurs in 1 in 31,000 in birth. These are the 
statistical results now actually for having people having down syndrome is having 46 number of chromosomes but actually uh, they are having a kind of again another kind of translocation now the translocation is between the chromosome number 14 and the chromosome number uh, 21 now what actually is going on here is actually it, they are having kind of 46 chromosomes. Two different types of Down syndrome can be possible. One is the translocation between the chromosome 14 and chromosome 21, and you can see it here in this picture. Uh, there is a bit translocation between chromosome 14 and 21, and that results something else. But another case of Down syndrome, it is 321 number of chromosome instead of two because you know in each case we are having set of chromosomes or pairs of chromosome so one pair in each case in chromosome number 21 there should be one pair from one from father one from mother but here instead of two we are having three chromosomes and uh, actually one chromosome is duplicated due to that it's called the trisomy because we are having three chromosomes instead of two so this is uh, again the result of a non disjunction during meiosis process and these are the examples you can see due to this kind of down syndrome they are having different abnormalities like short broad hands stubby fingers rough skin and impotency in males mental retardation is obviously common part of that and small and round face and short lifespan so you can see in all these cases the effect of down syndrome they might look uh, very normal during their childhood ages but as they're getting older the mental retardation start to take take over right so this is the genetic effect in Kleinfelter syndrome, it actually occurs in 1 in 1100 births or 1100 births. Actually, it's pretty common, the Kleinfelter one. And what happens actually in this case, we are having X, X, Y, right? So, normally, what we are having, we are having either X, X or X, Y. Uh, so, fiddling around with the uh, sex chromosomes, either X, X for female, X, Y for male. But actually, we are having a trisomy in the 23. Uh, number of 23rd number of chromosomes and this is again uh, the effect of non disjunction now they are having kind of uh, scarce beard and uh, long fingers very very longer fingers and arms they are having kind of delicate skin very very delicate skin any kind of rashes and then that, that's kind of always continued through it low mental ability is also there and lifespan is normal but still they are having kind of moody low lifespan and all these things are related to in the in the in male so this is Kleinfelter syndrome now if you look at here the the sex linked again X chromosome linked uh, condition is called the Dutch muscular dystrophy or Dekni muscular dystrophy so Dutch muscular dystrophy is is a kind of disorder nowadays uh, predominantly seen in one boy in every 3000 it's a progressive weakening of muscles and loss of coordination between the muscles. So any times muscle tweaking just start to occur without any reason. So that's kind of uh, kind of embarrassing in many conditions. So it's more common in males. So what happens actually? You can see this is the normal chromosome, and simply uh, the size of the chromosome is getting uh, you know uh, very very much short due to some reasons. That's why it's it's get problem. It's get shortening of of this X chromosome. That's why it's a problem. Now, cystic fibrosis is another problem. It happens in one in every 31 carriers in U.S. It's very, very, and probably most common uh, genetic disorders. Now, single gene mutation causes this particular effect. And what happens actually? It causes the production of um, mass, different mucus, production of huge amount of mucus in different internal organs like lungs, pancreas, digestive tract, and other organs. Due to the presence of this huge amount of mucus in all these different necessary organs it creates problem for individual to live, individual to breathe, individual to digest food and many different problems of body right so actually heterozygote may be resistant so due to this particular condition heterozygous may be resistant to typhoid fever but that's not a good price to pay right so this is the most common lethal genetic disease in US nowadays and another autosomal type of same uh, genetic disorder is Huntington's chorea, Hunt Huntington's disease. It is 1 in 10,000 in US. It's a, a nervous system degenerative. So degenerative nervous system neurological disorder. Actually, if you look at the MRI of uh, the candidate, uh, so normally the lesions and after, uh, after how it's getting changed between the normal and the diseased one. So you can see here that considerably the structure of brain is getting hampered. The brain sections are getting 
getting degraded on its own it's auto degenerative disease it's very very dangerous because it's degenerate auto or uh, by its own so actually and another dangerous thing about this huntington's courier disease or huntington's disease is that you can't actually predict it from the earlier age because it, it is very very its onset is very late and may not show any symptoms at all until uh, the past reproductive age so you can see only you can detect it after 40 or 50 years of age and you, you have nothing to do because already enough damages will be done so that's why uh, these diseases are very very dangerous and genetic disorders are not only associated with physical imbalance it is associated with mental trauma and also physical and mental embarrassment of family and friends and many other things on sociological conventions so that's it guys and i hope that's helpful thank you